Still try to come back when you faint I always want the truth, but it's that You got something real, not bad Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is this makeup look. So I did do a makeup look um, last week and it was more of like a full coverage makeup. This one is more of a natural makeup look. It's lighter, but I also did, I did do a bright kind of under eye, but it's very subtle. So if you guys want to see how I got this makeup look and how I achieved it, make sure you stay tuned to this video. And today I actually showed you guys this eyeshadow look. So I'm really happy about it. And let's get started. You guys, so natural makeup today. I'm gonna just put on my elf putty primer. I always do this if you haven't checked out my last video, which is a more full coverage one. If you like doing more full coverage, I will link that video down below so you can check it out. I'm going in with my elf putty primer. I link everything in the description box so you guys can easy access them. So about this much, I'm gonna apply that all over my face. Today's makeup is a little bit more natural because I'm feeling like doing a little natural makeup look. So first thing I did was make sure that my face is nice and washed. I put a lot of primer underneath my eye because it helps it to be hydrated. I feel like I wanted to do a little girl chat. I don't know. I feel like I don't talk a lot in my videos and I don't show a lot of my personality. I used to talk a lot in my videos, but recently I haven't and we already know why. But like, I don't know. I feel like I've been not depressed, but like in not the best space. And I also... People that make YouTube videos and like influencers and stuff. I like watching influencers that make me feel motivated. Like Kyla Shay and Susu and who else do I watch? Pretty Bermuda, Tamara, Renee. I think that's her last name. I like watching people that make me feel motivated. So I don't I don't want to come on video and be depressed and all that. And you know, because I feel like watching that is going to make you feel more depressed if you are depressed. Like what the heck? So I'm just going to do my makeup and stuff and make myself feel good. And I'm going to take some pictures. Social media is so fake. And I was talking to my friend about this. Like social media is so fake. Like people can make up a whole scenario of who they think you are or what kind of life they think you're living and it's not even like that and it's so crazy because it'd be very unintentional but one thing i like to do to get myself out of a funk out of a funk is self-care i feel like self-care like intentional self-care where you actually take in the moment is something that i love to do so i'm gonna do a video on some of the stuff that i bought i'm gonna do it after i'm done doing my makeup but I'm gonna do a video to show you some of the things that I got that helped with my self-care. I just trimmed my eyebrows. I don't I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna use the NYX brow glue if I can find it. I realize your brows have to have no product on it for this product to work because then it doesn't work. I used to use got to be the clear got to be and that's really really good you don't have to buy this little product if you don't want to but that's what i've been using recently because I, I just wanted to test it out and see but i don't feel like it makes any difference i was gonna um perm my eyebrows but it's not giving i like my eyebrows to be like this when i'm not wearing makeup so i don't want it to be straight all the time and then i'm gonna use this elf brow lifting applicator brush i didn't even realize it was a brow lifting applicator i just use the spoolie part to flatten down my brow and then i just wait for the product to kind of dry down i'm gonna do my other eyebrow the same exact thing i know a lot not a lot of people love full coverage makeup so this one is more realistic and i feel like doing makeup is therapeutic and even if you don't know how to do it i just recommend that you follow along with a video and just like take your time listen to some music you know just vibe and just do it literally that could be a, a form of self-care too like just taking that little time for yourself i recommend doing that and also i love buying candles i can do a candle haul because i do have like a bunch of candles some of them are already burnt down but oh well so i'm gonna wait for this to dry down and i'm gonna fill it in just a tiny bit at the ends and then clean it up i forgot to apply my pillow plumping gloss mm -hmm. so i'm using the anastasia beverly hills dark brown brow powder and i'm gonna apply that to the tips of my brow and a tip that i learned for applying this specific product is putting a lot of product on your brush i'm using both the light and dark side put a lot of product on the brush and then lightly dust it on top of the brow i 
I don't really fill in my brow. I just fill in areas that I feel is like see-through. This is good enough for me. I'm gonna go in with Cool Tan. I'm gonna put it at the back of just like this blush palette powder. I normally wear gloves, but I don't feel like getting up, so. And I'm just going to line these brows. Okay, so this is how the bottom of the brow look. I'm gonna clean up the brow with just a regular flat brush. I don't even know where this brush is from. I had it so long ago, but just a regular flat round brush would do perfectly fine. And I just let that sit for about three minutes or so, so it can be as full coverage as possible. Now I'm gonna clean up my other brow. After you let it sit for like two or three minutes, I'm just going to blend it in by pushing it into the skin. And also you could push and swipe in the direction of the hair growth. But don't touch the line that you made because you want the line to stay. The line is what's going to define the brow. So the top here, because I add foundation to my face, I don't mind the top here being a little white, light like that. I don't, I don't mind this brow. And you want to do this gently so you're not moving too much of the product. You really want the product to stay. And my brow is looking a little bit bigger on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that. You literally could give your brow a whole new look just with concealer. Yeah, as soon as you do your eyebrows, your makeup already looks put together. So now I'm going to go in with a little bit of foundation. I'm going to shake the foundation up and then I'm going to apply it to my face. I'm also going to use like a little color correction just because I have little dark areas that I want to cover up. And I like using my Fenty Stunna Lip Paint. So hold on. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the, fun the Stunna Lip Paint and I'm going to just add it in little spots that I have dark marks. And I'm going to add like the tiniest amount because this is very pigmented and i'm gonna use just a random brush to blend it in i use my fingers sometimes but not today and you just want to tap it you don't really want to move the product around because you want it to stay exactly where you put it i'm just gonna add a little bit under my eye all right so this is how my face is looking i'm gonna go ahead and apply the new caledonia by nars and i'm going to apply it with the same brush that i use to apply my foundation i'm gonna apply one pump to the back of my hand and i'm gonna build as i go i'm gonna avoid putting it under my my eye and i'm pushing the foundation in where i put the corrector i'm pushing the foundation over it okay i'm gonna add just a little tiny like half of a pump I'm gonna do my eyes last today. All right, so now I'm going to take just a random sponge. I got these sponges in like a pack of five from TJ Maxx. And I'm going to gently buff this in over my face. Make sure that your sponge is damp so it's like soft, but make sure it's not wet, like super wet. Now I'm gonna go in with concealer using my same cool tan. I'm gonna apply it to the back of my hand. I'm not using a lot today but I'm still gonna apply it with a brush. I'm applying a little bit right here. I'm not gonna apply it over my lips. I'm just gonna apply it right under my eye and the top areas of my face. I just put a little bit where the light hits which is like right there anywhere that the light hits my face that's where i'm gonna put it light hits my face here it hits my face here and then i'm just gonna put a little bit on my forehead not too much and just put this under my eye so the key to this is letting it sit for about five minutes so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna leave it alone for five minutes while i do my contour for my contour, I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills um, foundation stick in the color Earth. And I'm going to apply this with a brush. So I'm going to warm it up at the back of my hand, like right here. And put a good amount, like here. And then I'm going to take this kind of like 
foundation brush. This is a Real Techniques number 200. It says Expert Face Brush. So I'm going to just pounce that at the back of my hand and then push that into my face. Like that. And then right here to chisel out my face. Like that. It may look like you just got punched, but that's okay. Just push it in. Don't swipe. And this is going to be more of like a summertime type of makeup look. So you're going to look very dewy. I'll put a little bit on my forehead. You're going to look very dewy and, you know, good. So when the face is looking like this, just keep it. Just wait like three more minutes for the under eyes and then you can blend it out. I don't wear like much blush. So I'm going to put on this Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Blush in the color Marlet Moment. And I'm going to apply it with the same dense brush, just like this. And I'm just going to put it right here at the high point of my cheek, like right there. Just like that. Once I'm blending out the concealer, this is going to blend out. So I just put it everywhere that I want to have a little bit of blush. And I'm also going to apply a little bit of highlight. I don't wear highlights. So I'm going to apply a liquid highlight. The highlight I'm going to use is Mega Glow, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Hello Highlight in the color go with the glow i'm gonna also apply it to the back of my hand right here that's way too much i don't even need that much use the same um expert face brush and i'm just gonna apply it right there where you normally apply highlight that's where you want to apply it you want to apply it in the areas where you normally apply highlight okay that's good for me i'm gonna just wipe my hand Okay, so I'm going in with my Real Techniques 402 brush. I'm going to link everything down below. I feel like I already told you guys this. But one thing I noticed is when I'm blending with a light hand, like actually taking my time and not really pushing the brush too much, just gently tapping it, that gives me the best coverage, especially if you're doing a more natural look. You want to make sure that you're not taking out too much of the product. So blending it with a brush just makes more sense. So I'm just gently doing that all over my face. And I'm trying to avoid my upper lip a bit, but I am going to pass the brush on my upper lip. Just with the excess that's already on the brush. And then I'm just blending my forehead. And if you feel like the concealer is overpowering, just go back in with your foundation brush and that's going to tone down the brightness like I'm doing right here. This is my Sephora brush, by the way. So I'm, it's like the 47 or something, the foundation brush. So I'm using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the color Tan Sand. And I'm just putting that right under my eye and I'm spreading it out just so it's not going to dry in a little dot. And I'm going to wait five minutes again just to get the full coverage of it. And while that is setting on my face, I'm going to go in with my Morph. What brush is this? I don't know. I think this is the 402 brush or no, no, no. It's the 433. I'm not sure. I'm just blending my nose and I'm using a more dense type of brush to put on this Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the color Earth. This is the same foundation stick that I use for my contour. I'm just fixing up my nose contour so you'll be able to see it some more. So this is the kind of rubric that I do for my nose shape. Okay, and then once you do that, you're going to blend out the bright under eye. But I'm just staying right in that spot where I put it so you could see. I did not move that product around at all. I just stayed right in that spot and the brush kind of picked up all the excess. I'm using the Laura Mercier Poof and I'm going to use this to set my face. This is the MAC C7 Finishing Powder. I'm using this first to set everything in place and then I'm going to use the... Huda Beauty setting powder with the Laura Mercier. The Huda Beauty setting powder is in the color. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's in. I'm going to just label it down below. I can't remember because I really feel like it's banana bread, but 
no it's blondie i'm patting off the excess on the back of my hand and i'm gonna pat this in just like concealer making sure i blend it in until i see no more shiny spots and when you're blending your under eyes you're gonna take the excess off of the uh, off of the poof and just pass it over the areas that you put concealer so your nose your forehead your mouth your chin all of that but you can see it's very light it's not a lot like how under under the eyes is bright right so I'm just putting a little bit on the sides of my face and then I'm going to go in with this Charlotte Tilbury um, bronzer. This is in the number three and I'm setting my contour area. The, everywhere that I put the contour stick, I'm just setting it with this powder. I'm using my Marina Buttes bronzer. This is my favorite, favorite thing because this has like a nice orangey red undertone so it starts bringing the makeup together so if anything i recommend is this contour powder and this is just a morphe contour brush i think it's a four four five zero i'm not sure i'm gonna link everything down below just check my description box and i'm just dusting that all over my face i'm using the same 433 brush to set the nose contour as well just to give it some color and make sure that it does not move so now i'm gonna go back in with the mac c7 and i'm going to buff in the powder under my eyes this is going to help it to melt and look like skin this is going to give you a blurring effect this is my favorite part as well <laughs> I'm using the Sweet Cheek NYX blush. I'm going to link it down below as well. I love this. It's more of a peachy color. I don't know why I didn't show you guys, but I feel like I have other makeup videos too. So make sure you guys check out my other makeup videos. This one is just more natural for people that like a natural look. I'm spraying with the more setting spray and I'm putting a lot because I'm going to push this into the skin. This is going to help the powdery, the, the powders, all the powders to melt together. So I just fan it a little bit and then I'm pushing it in with this poof. I need to wash this puff. It's so dirty. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just pushing it in until it's not shiny anymore. And then I'm making sure to push in the under eyes so there's no creasing. I absolutely love this. I love doing that. It gives it a nice skin-like look. You can see. So here I'm using the MAC um, paint pot in soft ochre and I'm putting that all over my eyes because I'm gonna be doing a cool eyeshadow I feel like this is a different eyeshadow so you guys can try this out super easy and simple so once I put that I make sure I make it sit for like three minutes and I'm using the nude persuasion palette and I'm gonna mix two colors together hold on I am gonna show you the colors I believe those two shades to give my eyes a base for the gold so i'm just like patting that in and giving it kind of like a fake cut crease type of area and this is giving me a rubric for how i want the eyeshadow to lay i'm using tarte this is like a a baked eyeshadow I'm gonna link it down below. If I can find it, I will link it down below. I had it for a while. I did eyeliner with the Inglot. And I just lined my waterline. I'm putting on some Climax mascara. I did just buy a new one because this is finished. This is the Mega Wet n Wild Mega Link mascara this is meant for bottom lashes you can see how long they just bring out my bottom lashes and these are my eyelashes i did stack them i stacked two of them so yeah i'm using the revolve vintage lace palette these two colors i'm gonna use it as a nose highlight gently putting that on because i don't want it to be like in your face i just wanted to have a little bit of shimmer I'm using Trendsetter by Morph and gently applying that. I like to be detailed with the with the liner because if your lip, if you're just putting on your lip liner messy, it's just gonna look a mess. I'm using London by NYX, and then I'm putting a little bit of Milkshake by Anastasia. Line my lips again. 
and then i was not feeling the matte look so i went in with mercury by morphe and i'm just putting a little bit of that and that was basically the lip combination i absolutely love it it looks so good it's like the perfect matte creamy look and i always keep going back with the pencil just to make sure that my lips are there okay guys this is the end of the video if you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know what you think about it did you enjoy it do you feel like you could achieve it i did link everything in the description box so you guys can have easy access to get them so make sure you click my description box to check out any of this items that i use and i did go ahead and put some of my charlotte tilbury finishing powder in the number three underneath my eyes i wasn't talking too much because today is actually like 100 plus degrees so i had to keep the ac on just to cool me down because these lights are vicious but I just turned the AC off so I could talk to you guys. But let me know um, if you guys enjoyed this video. Do you want to see more looks? I think I want to do a pink look next. And I'm really excited about it because I feel like it's going to turn out good. I did do the pink look on my cousin. So I want to do it on myself to show you guys exactly what I did. But yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, give me some white hearts and some lipsticks. And I will definitely see you guys in my next one. Bye. Oh, and I decided I'm going to do a giveaway. So I'm going to do a $50 sephora haul no a 50 dollars sephora giveaway so you guys could add that to any of your purchases that you're gonna make on sephora so if you want to be entered into the giveaway make sure you subscribe follow me on instagram and leave a comment down below letting me know um let me know why you follow me i like seeing why you guys follow me and also um share this video with your family and just do a lot of things to support me okay <laughs> But yeah, um, I'm going to leave the full giveaway details in my description box. So make sure you guys check my description box for accurate information because I literally just come up with these ideas just out of my head, just sitting right here. So I'm going to give you accurate information. Just check the description box. Okay, guys. Bye. So I'm not with nobody because I don't want to hurt nobody. Did it over text, didn't call me. Still got love for your mommy. I know you want to be somebody even if you got to leave somebody. It's our girl, it's our baby.